Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So in this episode what we shall be doing is well we're definitely going to keep building the castle walls in the dragon's keep area and I think in the last one we kind of mentioned as well that this is a little bit awkward in here and we do want to move the levy aqueduct a little bit over but since we don't really have a whole lot of locks in here, well, quite a fair amount actually. But I think we'll uh, we'll skip that until we have the walls up all around this area. Because right now, it doesn't make a huge difference and we can pat patch this corner up a little bit later. Uh, let's check the progress on this and we are still lacking gears. So perhaps that's something we can export from this district in here. We've got loads of planks. So yeah, why don't we open up a couple more. I think we have a lot of, yeah, at the hauling post there. But what we shall do is, let's give you a little bit higher priority. It probably is worth checking as well, where is everyone working? They're still working in the farms. But do we need this many viewers in the farms? Well, they seem to be harvesting all of them. No one's really slacking off. Uh, oh well. Okay, I guess we'll leave it. And we've got a few homeless beavers as well. But these are, let's see, the population is going up rather quickly. So, uh, do we want to build more houses here? Well, eventually, yes. I think this will be mostly like a folktale themed district. We talked about forestry and log exporting from here. Uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to find that very useful in the future once we start building up the theme park and the... Well, I have put down a bit of a blueprint in there as well. Well, it is a night time, so why don't we speed you up a little bit? Right, so the drought shall be over in about 6.3 days and it seems we do have enough water to carry us through, although this one is very low in here. So why don't we just release pretty much most of the water down there, just top up this tank here and yeah, then we'll definitely have, you know what, why don't we just put it at zero because it's pretty low right now. Okay, all right. So what we need now is some beavers working at that station there. How about we pause you real quick. Do we have... Oh, power is now the issue. Well, the windmills seem to be working. So yeah, get to working everyone. We'll put it on two times speed because it seems it starts to lag a little bit. Yeah, even though we only have 221 beavers, but oh well. Okay, let's keep it at slower speeds whilst we're moving around at least. Another thing I noticed in here was that a couple of these power shafts were not connected. So I have scheduled them ones in there as well. And we do have a few dynamites. However, do we want to carry on building this? Because I think the plan was to connect them up all the way there. Let's see. Yep, so we could bring the power shafts through right behind. But then again, there's only a couple of power consumers there. So might not be too necessary here to speed up their work this actually could be a very good project for us to let them finish this one off so yeah let, let's do that because if i remember correctly that does increase their working speed now coming back to the temple yeah that's the one we completed in the in the last episode so the next step in here what i'd like to do is just make it a bit more green let's grab one of those foresters and we'll need to see the range as well. Oh, that's not really... Actually, it might be fine because we can let those trees start spreading naturally. Or how about here? Would you still be connected? Yes, you would be. Okay, let's have one over there. And what we'll do is... What kind of trees do we want here? I think maples. Sorry, no, pines. Pines might be the nicest ones to... Let's do a few rows in there. Actually, plant as many as you can. What's the range in this? Oh, we can't really see it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just put quite a few down here. All around this area. Okay, there we go. And once we, you know, bring the water through... Actually, what we should have done is... Before building this temple, we should have uh, extended this canal a little bit further... Oh yeah, maybe that's something we have to do because it seems it comes right about here. If we had it a few more tiles further, right? If we scroll down, are we able to see? Yep, it finishes right about there. 
Okay, so how much does it cost to build a new one? Uh, 150 logs and 60 planks. Well, what is it saying? We've got 100 and planks loads as well. So we could, yeah, we, we can definitely do it. Okay, let them build this forest there. It's nearly done and we've extended the uh, forest in this area here as well. Because we are definitely going to need a lot of logs. So why don't we just have a quick peek at the, well, not the temple, the, the pyramid. Uh, it's not really filled in yet. Oh, none of those sides are. But essentially what I'm thinking to do, if we switch to the iron teeth ones, is to fill it all in. And we just keep going like this. Uh, so every time it goes one level up. And in the future, if we want to make it even um, taller and bigger and wider, we can just keep adding one by one. It, It's probably something I'll do off camera. But uh, this is kind of like the rough blueprint and what I'm thinking to do, I think somewhere in the middle here, let us see. So perhaps in uh, here, we'll go with three down, I think. Uh, let me just quickly see. Let's do th three on these sides. Then we'll grab those arches, place them on top and then these ones on top top of here and there was a great comment about putting one of those monuments uh, we're gonna have to swap over to folk tales again the flame of progress and i'd love to put it in the middle however it is a two by two not three by three and uh, what's the well maybe we could do the next monument but if we do want to have flames in here then i'm afraid we're gonna have to build like four of them at least or so it seems Anyways, let's take them out for the time being. Here is the, well, rough plan for it. And what I did before starting to record was, I actually tried to move it over so that the road goes straight through the pyramid. Then I thought, ah, uh, no. Not everything has to be symmetrical. And what we could easily do around here as well, once those roads go through, let's say about here, we're going to have a couple of stairs. Unless we dynamite our way through, of course. And then, uh, you know, we can just bring the roads around and connect them up through the middle. So it's, uh, you know, it looks a little bit random, but not too random overall, if, if that makes any sense. Yeah, and then same thing on this side. We'll bring it up and... Oh, wow. Okay. This might be just perfect. If... I'm getting this right. Let's see. Oh, no, it's off by one, but that's not a problem. Yeah, we can just move this road up by one as well, so that's fine. And yeah, in this area, we might do another district. Depends how far you can go, actually. Maybe that's something we should test out. Ooh, how many logs do you guys have in here? 1,200. Well, that's quite a few. Oh, yeah, we've got a one forestry area there. So I don't think we need to send any more logs into this district here. Yeah, you should be... Fine. And I think what we should also do is... Oh, forgot to speed up the time. My apologies. Uh, what we should also do in here is add a few water pumps so they could start taking their own water from this reservoir in here. Because otherwise it's just going to go to waste, isn't it? And what we can do is maybe maybe just about here. Just a couple of you. Don't think we... Oh, do we need them? Yes, they will be better, I think. So we'll do one and two. Let's drop you in there. Another thing I was thinking about or what to do with this lake is deepening the middle a little bit and then grabbing the levees to make a bit of a wall around and then dry out the inside and then have a, I don't know, like a temple somewhere in the middle there. Actually, we might not even deepen it too much. We might just leave it at this level and deepen everything else around it. So then we could have a temple right in the middle of the colony as well, or something else that has to be on on the ground. Well, anyways, we got a bit of time till we get to that. Another thing I do want to do here, though, is to see how far can we go. Now, do we want to use some platforms in order to... Now, we can always change it around later. So a couple of roads and about this seems to be pretty good okay what about those trees how far are you in just the 50 percent so i think in the future as well what we'll probably have to do is bring some more water 
down there to make it fertile. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely an option, so we could dynamite our way through there. But we can worry about it at a different date. Okay, let's uh, check out our castle again. How are things going? Ooh, okay, quite a few towers up. And what about you lot over here? Oh, it seems you can't quite reach up there just yet. Okay, okay. Uh, what shall we do? Well, I guess uh, once we put a few more levees in here. What about these ones first? Uh, yep, that should be good. And then we'll do the corner bits as well. Although those corner ones, actually we could save a few logs. Yeah. Let's uh, just connect them like so, and we are eventually going to build uh, some sort of a tower up here as well, so... We'll take these paths out. They're still able to access this whole area, I believe. Yes, they are. Okay, a couple of roads. And on top of this one, well, let them build those levees first. And then we'll uh, get rid of this levee. I don't want to delete just in case, although I think we should be fine. We scroll down a few levels. Oh, we'll be fine, yeah. Okay, there we go. And we shall need... Do we have to bring something? Oh, we may have to dynamite this spot. Okay, let's just leave it for a second until I figure this out. Now, you are going to go through there, right? Yep, that is looking good. And then we shall also have a couple of these towers... Just like we did on the other side. Right. You don't need to be paused anymore. And... Actually, let's just not build you. Okay. And these ones. Because we are going to have a corner tower right about somewhere here. Yep. I think that is the case. And what about this section here? Oh, all those large windmills. Okay, we do have a couple more right about here. Although the question is, is this going to be enough? Um, well, I think the answer is no. But are they now? Oh, they might be in the way of building those platforms. No. Uh, okay, well, that's a bit of a relief. How are we doing in here? Well, that's the wall section. I would like to continue let them finish this off so what we might have to actually do is maybe we lower them to about the same level and oh okay uh, it seems we are gonna have to yeah take them out a little bit you can't build those uh okay temporary road is needed where can they come through though it seems right about there all right get to building beavers uh, let's jump back into our main colony. How are things here? Are we producing gears? Yes, we are now. Okay. And power-wise, things are good as well. Do we still still have this route? Yes, we do. Okay. Wait, are you paused? What's coming in here? Metal and logs. Well, this one's doing logs, so why don't we take you out? And where's the metal going? Gears, scrap. Well, you're not producing metal anymore. But there are a lot of logs. Ooh, we could empty this. That would be perfect. We'll take the metal out as well. Gears are being exported and 371 already. Just another 450 and we can start producing our own scrapped in in Dragon's Keep. So that would be very much preferred. Let us jump over to this area. Are we? Oh, yes, we do. Let's employ one right about now. And I'm thinking, well, I believe we do want to make this a bit more green however with the roads how shall we do that yeah don't want the trees to start spreading into this area okay so eventually i guess we're gonna have to have a bit of a fence in here and three times the speed again whilst we figure this out and what we can do let's see we might have to oh yeah actually never mind once this one fills up we might have this whole area green so again that should not be a crazy problem okay a little bit randomized but not too crazy and i guess we can actually yeah why don't we do a few 
chestnut trees here and there as well. We won't be harvesting them, but it's just to make our forest look a little bit, a little bit different. And now that I think about it, why don't we actually connect this road about here? So let's see the range again. Okay, so you can do some of them, not all, but we can do another forest there. Just like so, that should get... Okay, it reaches right about there. And we can always do another forester right about here as well. Okay, happy days. You get to harvesting trees. We can get a few final dynamites in place. And I think we wanted to get rid of this uh, a lip in here as well. Okay, good, good, good. Now, uh, what is next? How are you guys? Okay, we got the bumps in. However, I don't think we have the spare workforce just yet. And that's okay, because we haven't really figured out what exactly we want to do here. And to be honest, we've got so many other projects in the queue right now, so we don't really need to worry about it too much. What we could do here, though, is I think we're producing quite a lot of logs. And to help this project out in the future, we can... Let's see. Once they get the stairs in we can see how long it is going to take so let's bring the road through and where is the storage okay here we go folk tales one i suppose we can do let's see one two three four oh, not four okay we'll put a couple in here let them uh, fill these up and actually we're just blocking ourselves in right now aren't we yeah let's set it up slightly uh, slightly differently get rid of all of you guys where is the storage okay off we go and we'll do a couple of rows so maybe there's another road here and we can do a nifty little trick in the future how to get those logs out again so yeah if you got some spare time there's nothing else to do why don't you start building uh, or bringing logs here uh, since there's no workers uh can we free up someone at least there are a few in here Food seems to be pretty okay as well, so yeah, let's stick another, another beaver house right about there. Okay, fantastic. And then um, I think we should be able to man both of them. Right, you're lacking materials. Oh, wheat flour. So right, this plot here is not going to be enough. And that's not a huge problem. Because we can always do a farm... Uh, let's speed up the time and make sure it's going running as fast as we can. Let's see, farmhouse. Even if you're here, oh yeah, that's definitely going to cover everything. Checking the range. Why don't we... Hmm. Where shall we place you? On the main road or... Uh, now let's put it on the side road in about here. So we'll take out a few trees and create maybe like a little cul-de-sac in, in somewhere here. So... Yeah, let's take three of you out. Actually, in the future, if we are going to have a road from here, I don't know if we're going to keep this or not. It is a nice little shortcut, though. Or maybe this becomes the shortcut. Let us see. Okay. If we can grab a staircase. No, that's not a staircase. This one is. We could send the road straight through. Yeah, maybe that's better. Okay, let's give it a try. What I'll do is I'll put two single platforms just in case we will be passing power through this area in the future. And right about there. Okay. Delete the building. Let's go straight through. And the road. Oh, uh, yeah. That seems to be right. So should be should be fine. Oh, we are losing a little bit more water. What is it? 2.5 days. Ah, uh, nearly there. Let's get rid of... Uh, bit sad but oh well it is needed so give you the highest priority as well and get you lot done okay so this means the farm station oh let's put the roads down as quick as we can before we have some more trees in there and let's check the range as well okay so we can still yeah reach everything and hopefully this will allow them to cross from one farm to another don't know they might be going this way Hmm, because this is all in red. Well, I guess we'll see. 
Okay, and now that the trees are gone as well, we can finally do this farmhouse here. And let's check the range. Oh, uh, okay. If we go one over, we can... Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. Let's see this again. Right. Okay, so... If we face this way... Nope. No, 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 no. I think we want to take it one more level back, so... Let's see, two of those trees. Highest priority, get these cut down. Are you out of range? Or oh, why is no one doing that? Okay, hopefully they will still get to it. But we are going to have to place something down here before these trees take that spare, those empty spots away from us. Okay, here we go. And now it seems we can reach all the way to the road. Yep. So let's uh, let's do something like so. You can actually go. Never mind. If we if we have a tree in here, that's not a problem. So we'll get this built as well. Give you a slightly high priority. And what we can also do is now start expanding the wheat field just a tiny bit. Well, something like this. And we'll do the same on the opposite side as well. I don't think you're needed anymore. Okay, there we go. And with the forest, maybe we put something inside this little forest area here as well. Okay, the rain seems pretty good. Oh, we can do another layer there. Perfect. We don't really have any uh, spare beavers anymore. Okay, well, that's interesting. And a few homeless beavers. Hmm, right. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll definitely get them a lovely little home. That's a uh, hold up. Everything's dried up again. And I don't think our district center is on this side. Well, yikes. That's a bit problematic to connect this road up in here. I guess we can do a temporary one that goes around and over whilst we delete this area in here. But the problem will be once I dynamite or disconnect this road, they might not be able to reach the, the log stations in here. So... Yeah, uh, let's, uh, well, fine, we'll just connect you up, give you an alternative access, and we could have done it from this side as well, but that just means we'd have to move you a little bit further or back. Now, let's take a look at things again, what is going on here, no recipe selected. Right, so which one shall we start doing, efficient or not? six and three every 3.6 hours oh okay so it's not the fastest dynamite production should be still fine and we're not using a crazy amount and we still don't have any unemployed so right how many haulers i don't want to remove anyone from one of those hauling posts maybe we will take you out let's see did we get any beavers here no. Okay, what about another building down? Okay, a couple in there. Nice. And you should be planting wheat. Uh, actually, why don't... No, let's leave it at planting for now. And yeah, we still have this little plot in here. Okay, good, good, good. Another thing I decided to do was to put this suspension bridge in here to let them cross over directly. And I was initially thinking of connecting two different ones but since it's an odd number of tiles it wasn't gonna look the prettiest so yeah one bridge it is and that should be fine for our use water level oh okay it did not fill up as much as we wanted but uh let's see right so we can't really do those i remember we are still gonna need those stairs and you're gonna have to go you're gonna have to go uh, yeah, let's do it the slow way then. And you guys are all done as well. Okay, why don't we bring you up to four, so at least... Yeah, I think we do need to get the top area filled first. Alright, three times the speed again. 0 0.7 days until we get the water back in. And, well, food-wise, I think we should see the improvement very soon. Logs. 3,500. But that's all dry, so yeah, we're just really heavily dependent on the drought, really. 
And another thing we do want to do in the future. But I guess we'll have to build a stockpile a few more dynamites in this district first. Is to deepen those lakes. This one's going to supply that one over there. So I don't really want to connect them. But these two small ones and this big one here will be our way to really um, control the level of water at the bottom there. That also means right about here would be great to dynamite everything down. But that is a massive project that, again, I guess I'll ha just have to do off camera. Okay, 0 0.2 days, we are nearly there. Now let us take a look at our walls. Okay, so this side is fortified pretty nicely already. And okay, I guess it's almost time to do this corner bit in here, really. Yeah. Okay, before we disconnect you, we should actually sort out you. But then again, maybe we can just leave it. I'm starting to think there's just so many wasted logs. And I know we have a lot right now, but those logs I really want to use for a different project. So, hmm, yeah. I guess we'll, yeah, as I said before, I guess we'll just leave it and, you know, figure it out in the future. Once we have less things to do, maybe that's when we start fixing this area up a little bit because it is functioning as it's as we want it to function right now. So, so yeah, let's just leave it. Uh, one thing I do want to do, though, is fix the power connection in here. I want to get rid of those large windmills. Next question will be, where shall we place them? Uh, we could create a wind park maybe right... Mm, <laughs> could do it at the back area here, because that's not really being used. And figure out a way how we can transfer the power through this area. Uh, in the front here, I don't know if we want to. Because when the theme park's here, do we really want to see those windmills pretty exposed there? But then again, yeah, we're definitely not producing as much as we would want to produce. Is there any other areas where we could place you down? Yeah, here, but I'm just thinking all the cable management will be pretty crazy as well. How about we figure out how we could construct you here? Because the reach seems to be pretty good overall. And if we get rid of those roads, let's take a quick look. Right, so power and the large ones. If that is the line, what's the furthest we can go? In here, uh, maybe we do a couple of platforms, but just one actually. We don't really need more than this. And this might be good enough. I don't think we can reach the furthest ones, but let's try, let's try this. And now click on the headquarters. Oh, okay. That might not be too bad. And if we also get rid of you, maybe they'll have a bit more range to reach those. If not, we can just remove them. Yep, they can build you, but not the other two. Well, I think that will be already, you know, fine. The only thing is now here we'll have to come up two levels, so that might be a little bit tricky, but I'm sure we can figure something out. So yeah, let's leave you in place there. And yeah, that's good. So now what we can start doing is to block, well, start blocking this whole area in because we are not going to go down from from there anymore. Okay, a couple of levees will do the corner bits. And how far do we want to go again? So here, if we toggle the faction, I know we want this to, let's see, one, two, three, four. And four from about here, or maybe even five, and make it make it even bigger. This is the middle tower. Not the middle, but the corner. I mean, okay, there we go. Uh, quick auto save. Let's grab you again. How high are you? Oh, needs to be at least two more levels. Okay. And if we extend you all the way through, well, that's the usual wall. No, oh. we do want it to be a one outside, right, okay. Uh, let's take you out again, that's okay. We're just measuring out where it's going to be. So right about there will be fine, and now we can take the middle bit. Oh, there is one more. There we go. 
Okay, I think that's something uh, we are going to try and achieve in here for one of those corner towers. And it seems that Trout is already back at us. So that should be fine. The top pool is already full. Middle one or the lower one is starting to fill as well. And once it overflows at least a little bit, I think by the end of today, that should be full. And then the rest of it will be nice and fertile again. So yeah, that's how we're going to have this corner tower. It seems the beavers are already building those windmills uh, although there's no wind just yet but that is gonna give us what is it one two three four five six seven seven extra windmills which will help us power all of our buildings right about there and the rest of it seems to be getting nice and green again so yeah happy days in the next episode i think once we get the power sorted oh it seems you're not connected so let's fix you up real quick in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll start putting down some of the support log logistics in here and also start filling up uh, as many, many log piles as we can really. And then uh, the next thing will be to figure out how can we make this whole area as fertile as we can. Then um, if we can and if we have enough time, I'd also want to put uh, another district center right about here. Dynamite, a little connection, stick a floodgate or a dam in there and try and block as mu much water as we can going off the map. Uh, so yeah, still uh, quite a few things to do, but we are moving at a steady, steady pace now, even though, well, I'd also like to get the water higher, but that just means putting down more water tanks. I just don't know if we really need it, as long as we have... Uh, nice and deep lakes everywhere with some water pumps then we should be able to sustain our population but anyways that's been a quite a long episode already so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one